Hi, Christine Altos here, and today I have some help. I have my daughter helping me today, and she's doing my recording for me, so thank you very much, Martina. <laughs> today is August the 12th, and today I'm going to talk about the 11th and the 12th of the Maxwell Daily Reader, because yesterday was kind of a catch-up day at our house, and I had to spend some time on my outdoors. I could not find my garden, if you can believe it, <laughs> so I had to do some reading. So today I'm going to talk about the 11th and the 12th. The 11th spoke about a checklist for change. If you want to make change in your life, you want to make sure the timing is right. Uh, it could be the right decision for your life, but the timing may just be off. And by going through a checklist of making sure that it's going to be the right decision for, for yourself, um, for your family, for your career, for everything that affects your life, you want to make sure that it is the right decision for you at that time. I can... Um, testify that this is truly something you need to do because my husband and I are entrepreneurs and one of our businesses we decided to make change however it was not the right timing and it didn't quite work out the way that we thought it would but I'm telling you we did learn a lot of lessons but knowing what I know now I would not make that decision without considering the timing so if you are at a point in your life right now that you need to make some decisions, whether it has to do with relationships, it has to do with schooling, it has to do with career, I highly advise that you make a checklist and make sure that every area of your life is going to have more yeses than noes to the questions you ask yourself to make sure that the timing is right. It might be the right decision for you, just not the right timing. Now, August 12th, talks more about mindset and believing in yourself. How many of us, I know I can, I can put my hand up for this one, have thought there is no way that I can do that? Well, guess what? Sure enough it is, you're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> you really have to think positive. If there is, actually, you know, so many people talk about dream boards and about putting pictures on these dream boards of your, your most beautiful kitchen or the car that you want or how many children you want, the house that you want, the cottage that you want, the boat that you want. Um, we make all these decisions in our mind, but for some reason, we think that we don't deserve them or we just can't achieve them. Well, I'm, I'm telling you now that if you believe in yourself, you can achieve it. If you just put the positive um, energy out there that you can do it. I'm telling you you can because I have applied this to my life for the last, more so the last year, I've really, really put my foot down, put my, my flag in the sand and, and got, gone for what it is I want out of life. And you know what? I'm seeing a return on it. I know where I would like to be in the future and I know I'm going to be there. So I have to, I have to share with you that if you surround yourself with negative people, unfortunately your life is going to continue to be going down that same road. If you can surround yourself with positive influence, read positive things, watch positive things on the television, listen to positive music, your life is going to completely turn around. If you want to add more income to your life, then you need to start surrounding yourself with people that make more money than you because then that's what's going to happen for yourself. So in conclusion to what I have to say today, I just would love for you to apply these to your life. I wish I had started applying these to my life years ago, but you know what? I'm where I am at right now because of the person I am right now. And you know what? I'm absolutely loving where I am, and I just hope that what I've said today could help touch you um, in your life. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care.